This is kind of my little getaway here. Deep in the western Indiana countryside. I come down here a lot, down here. About as far off the beaten path as it gets, you'll find Tony Mannion. I am an outdoor lover. I hunt, fish, uh, I mean, anything I can do outside, I do. Shoot, you name it. At 67 years old, living his best life, and so thankful. He wouldn't be able to do any of it, he says, if not for the medical procedure that saved him. There's no doubt in my mind I'd be dead by now. No doubt. Tony has been living with COPD for years. A lifelong smoker, he eventually quit, but the damage was done. Breathing was tough, and as a result, so was doing pretty much everything else. When I'd be cutting firewood and stuff like that, and then as time went, it got worse and worse. Then one day, a phone call from his sister changed everything. She was telling me they had something new out, and they were called Zephyr valves. So I was like, really? I go, well, how do you do? Are they any good? And she was like, I got a friend that got them, and she loves them. I said, great. I got right on the Internet instantly and started looking. His search led him to Franciscan Health and Dr. Fazil Khan. Not everyone is a candidate, but fortunately he will, he did fit the profile. A great candidate for a Zephyr valve, a tiny device that helps people with severe COPD or emphysema breathe easier. It works like a one-way door, letting trapped air and mucus out, but doesn't let new air into the damaged part of the lung. That means the unhealthy parts shrink, giving the healthier part more room to expand and work better. In Tony's case, we were able to uh, block off a portion of his diseased lung, and with that, his quality of life has improved significantly. That means easier breathing, the ability to exercise daily, and to get back outside. And I built this shed after I got my zephyr valves. Before I got them, I could have never done it. And that dock, too, I built it, too. A dock to fish with his grandchildren again, thanks to science and a breath of fresh air.